in the world of oils and fats, uh, which amounts to 180 million tons, palm oil has a market share of about 30%. It is the largest market share. The second bean, soya bean, which is about 23%. 80% of it is used in food. It is found in many industrial uses, ubiquitous in the world. So it's a very important ingredient, both for direct cooking and for the industrial use to manufacture food. The growth of this industry from Malaysia has been phenomenal. We have been the largest producer for palm oil for a long time until five years ago when Indonesia has overtaken us. It is a very critical industry for our nation, contributing about $80 billion of revenue to the country. It's the second biggest employer for Malaysia and it has got a huge multiplier effect throughout the whole Malaysian economy. As you know, Malaysia is a very small country. Uh, most of the land that's suitable for the planting of palm oil has been planted up and there is very little suitable land left. As such, we have to venture into other countries and Indonesia is the obvious choice. It has a large land potential there and it's the country that's nearest to us. And uh, the language, there's a lot of familiarity with Indonesia in terms of culture, in terms of language. The future of the upstream of palm oil is in productivity and is in, in sustainability. Uh, Malaysia has about 5.1 million hectares, of which half are in the, on the peninsula side, uh, probably about 28% in Sabah and the remaining in Sarawak. But anyway, the larger picture is 5.1 million hectares, maybe 6 million hectares tops. Indonesia is at 8 million hectares. We cannot fight uh, this battle by upping the hectares. We have to fight the battle by increasing productivity. What do we mean by increasing productivity? It means uh, better agricultural practices. It means that uh, we should be harvesting our fruits in a more efficient manner. For our industry, we have been very fortunate that it's very well organised. The very good, strong point of our industry is that, that we are no doubt competitors between companies, but we are very friendly competitors, sharing a lot of common knowledge and uh, experience that we have. I think it's very important for a leader to be authentic, to be himself, but to be genuine. We, there is a lot of worship celebrity leaders, but I think in the long term, they will not be very good for the company. So you've got to inculcate the right culture, the right attitudes, the right values, and to live by those values.